Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, okay. Clarita, good evening. Angelica, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hello, Angie. That's nice, very nice to have you here, guys. Girl, well, girls, only girls. Hi, Ana Carolina, good evening. Hola, hi. Happy Monday. Good to have you here. Silvita is here. Martita, hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good evening. <Yeah. laughs> How are you? How was your day? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? How was your weekend? Very good. Very good. Oh, it's Silvita, huh? It was good. <laughs> nice. Okay. Very good. It's very hard. <laughs> hard for what? For work? For work. Oh. For home. For home. <laughs> For 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 COVID for everything. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Pero comieron pupusas, no? Yes. Dicen que comer pupusas alegra la vida, bro. Right? <laughs> sí, el sábado. Ah, you see on Saturday. That's good. No, I didn't eat pupusas. Yo no comí. Pero sí, mi mamá hizo atol atoleada, atol el otro. Qué rico. Eh, riguas, Qué rico. Eh, riguas, Qué rico. Qué rico. Yeah, delicious. It was very nice. It was very delicious. I I, I enjoyed the, the, the atole. That was the Lisito, hello, good evening. How are you, Luis? Well, the only guy here. Super, super, super nice to have you here, guys. ¿Qué tal el trabajo? Todo nice? Yes? Okay, very nice. Well, Luis, are you a teacher? Yes. Oh my God! I didn't know you were a teacher. De mi hija. What What subject do you teach? ¿Qué materia enseña? What subject do you teach? Ahorita educación física. Nice. Very good. Excellent. Es que estaba chequeando los correos y todo decían el colegio el 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 champaña. Ajá. Then I was like, ah, oh, you Alonso. No, Alonso, no, 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 Alonso, no, no, Alonso, no, Luis, Ana Carolina, ajá, ajá, it's true, yeah, like three, three, three people, okay, very nice, very good, Alonso is a teacher too, mm -hmm. solo que él creo que no de ahí, ¿verdad? No, o oh, sí, del colegio de Champañán, ah, okay, hi Alonso, good evening, por aquí hablando de los teachers. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Okay, very nice. Okay. Caro de from eh, Parvularia me dijo, right? Mm -hmm. Nice kindergarten. Oh, Lily. With ah, you both. Lily. Oh, okay, very good. <laughs> Bella, le voy a preguntar a Lily si tiene hijos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mi hermana hoy que de my my sister doesn't have children. Y me dice, ay, no, I have a lot of children in the uh -huh. kinder. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, that's terrible. Okay, hey, Oscar is here too. Hi, Oscar, Natalie, hello. <laughs> How are you? Good? That's nice, Oscarito. Good. Nice, Thank very you. nice, nice, Oscarito. Okay, then we have the other guys. Gladys is here too. Hi, Gladys. Gladys is there. Well, and more people are uh, joining, I, I suppose, later on. Still, it's very early. Okay. Eight with three minutes, guys. My pleasure to see everybody, okay, once again uh, for this week. Uh, this is um, the video conference number 11, okay? So, this is for the section section number three today we start section number three and we start with a new topic that it's the present continuous okay we are going to learn and practice about present continuous but for future okay el presente continuo tiene diferentes funciones pero hoy aprendemos for future okay so we are going to learn how to talk about future events okay 
future events. This is what we are going to practice today in the class. Eh, we are going to do listening. Ok, vamos a hacer listening. Por primera vez creo que vamos a tener un audio, right? Ok, we're going to practice. We have a reading. Tenemos una lectura también. We have a reading. And obviously we have the explanation of the topic. Ok, so we are going to start, ok, the class eh, by brainstorming something. Ok, ustedes me van a ayudar a Hacer acá esto, right? We are going to do something here. We are going to have a... That's it. This is for, for this one, okay? My next... I'm sorry. My next weekend, okay? That's it. This is, this is a, the topic that we have here. My next weekend. So, what we're going to do, guys, right now is to brainstorm. Me va a dar una lluvia de ideas, ¿ok? Brainstorm activities. Solo las actividades, ¿ok? Activities that you are planning to do next week. Algo que han planeado hacer la próxima semana, ¿ok? Bueno, next weekend, in this case, el próximo fin de semana. Empecemos de viernes, ¿verdad? Right? <laughs> the little Saturday, ¿ok? Eh, and we're going to practice here. Eh, si no tiene planeado nada, pues, make up something, right? Invente algo. Make up something. And we're going to brainstorm, ¿ok? Activities. For example, in my case, I have a special activity for next weekend because eh, I have a, 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 a lunch, ¿ok? Have lunch with, um, with the family. I have a lunch with my cluster. <laughs> my cluster. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> My yeah, my cluster is my family, my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, my husband, my baby, and my nephews, right? We are 10. So uh, why? Because uh, we are going to celebrate my mother's birthday, okay? So have lunch with the family. This is one plan that I have for next weekend, okay? Um, what about uh, other, other plans that you have? Please tell me more plans. Go to the market. Okay, very good. Go to the market. Uh, market. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Go to the go, market. This go is another to the plan. barber shop. Ah, okay. Go to the barber shop. Okay, very good. So you will go there. Okay, next. Another activity that you have other planned for next weekend? Go to the, go to the Puerto de la Libertad. Sí, Silvita. <laughs> ok, mira que estamos en cuarentena, estamos en cuarentena. Very, very far the cluster, very far, <laughs> bien lejos. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> El Puerto de la Libertad. Ok, no problem, no problem. But it's a, digamos que un ejemplo, ¿ah? ¿eh? <laughs> Okay, go to Puerto de la Libertad. Uh -huh. Other activity that you have in, in mind uh, for next weekend? I have a baby shower online. Oh, really? You have a baby shower, really, online? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's a little crazy. Okay, uh -huh. have a baby shower online. Excellent. Another one? I have, I have to visit my mom in San Salvador. Visit uh -huh, my mom in uh, San Salvador. Uh, San Salvador. Okay, very good. Next, other activity, please. Y puede jugar, jugar, dormir, right? This is a one activity, right? I teach you, a dormir. This is a plan, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Any other? Los que quieran hacer pupusa en la casa, por ejemplo, this is a plan, right? Aha, uh -huh. Luis, for example, in your case, Luisito, do you have a plan for next weekend? No plans for next weekend, Luis. I know, Luis. Okay. I do exercise. Ah, okay. Do exercise. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. do exercise. That's good. That's good. Next. 
Uh, other other activity, Claudita, Elizabeth, for example, what do you have for next weekend? Uh -huh. uh, Franklin, uh -huh. do you have a, 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 an activity, Franklin? Uh, yes, I watching the Formula One. Watch? Excuse Formula me. One. Formula ah, one. the Formula One. Very good. That's it. Excellent. In your house, I suppose. Uh huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, very nice. <laughs> Juan Abel, what about you, Abel? Do you have any plan for next weekend? Uh, I work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Work, it's okay. It's my only plan. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, but don't worry, Abel. You have money, yeah? a lot of money. For... Okay, that's good. <laughs> Gladys, that what is the topic? We are uh, today. We are going to learn about future events. Uh, the new conference is about present continuous as future. Okay. For future okay, events, that's it. So right now, you are giving me a activities that you are planning to do next weekend. But right now, just the activities. Si se fijan, solo estamos con el verbo y el complemento, right? Okay, have lunch with the family, go to the market, go to the barber shop, eh, go to el Puerto de la Libertad, Silvita, right? Have a baby shower online, visit the mother, do exercise, watch the Formula One, work for my friend Abel. Any other activity that you have, Gladys, for example, do you have a plan for next weekend? Celebrity, my daughter, daughter, baby, baby. Ah, birthday. my daughter's, okay, my daughter's, daughter's birthday. Excellent. Birthday. Okay, very good. Uh huh. Very nice. When is your daughter's birthday? Uh, six years old. She's gonna be six years old. And when is her birthday? ¿Qué, qué fecha de cumpleaños? When is her eh, birthday? 20, 29. Ah, the 29th. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Excellent. So celebrate my daughter's birthday. Very good. This is other yes. activity. Uh -huh. Do we have more? For example, eat pupusa. That would be an activity. Uh -huh. yes. Salvadorian, yes. if you are a good Salvadorian, <laughs> yes. that's it. Uh, Ana Carolina, for example, in your case, do you have a plan? I uh, study with my son. Ah, I study, okay, with my sons. Okay, very good, that's it. Those are activities, okay? Oof, and we can have more, for example, uh, for example, a stay home, for example, another one, right? Other activity you can do, okay? Everything. Other one, a shop online, for example, if si le gusta comprar en línea, right? Okay, that's it. A call my my best friend, I don't know, or your good friends, right? Etc. Etc. Okay, guys, those are activities, okay? Activities that you have to do next week, okay? Next weekend. If you see, we have a list, okay? And today we are gonna learn how to express this for the future. This is in present. Have lunch with the family, go to the market, have a baby shower online, etc. Those are in present. But now guys, we are gonna learn how to express all these activities for future, okay? So, we are going to start with the explanation. Pay attention, please, to the explanation. And this topic is simple, but if you don't pay attention, okay, very, very, very much, it's gonna be a little difficult, okay? Try to pay attention, please. I'm gonna share with you this one, right? So this is the present continuous, okay? And present simple for future. Ahora yo me enfoco en este. Este es mi énfasis. Present continuous, okay? For future. So, we are going to start, okay, with this part. And this part says, we use present continuous, okay? And then we have here, we use present continuous, right? And it says here, to talk about future actions, 
that are already foreseen or planned in case we use an adverb or time expression. Si gustan, copien esto que tenemos acá, en rojo, please. Tonight, tomorrow, next year, week, month, at five o'clock, etc. Esas son las frases claves que vamos a aprender hoy. Tonight, tomorrow, next year, next week, next month, o si no, pues ponemos una eh, hora específica. At five o'clock, at eight o'clock, at three thirty, at four eh, fifteen, I don't know, depends, okay? Present continuous. We talk about for future. Look at the question that I have here. What are you doing next summer? Miren, aquí está usando la palabra next. Esta pregunta la vamos a usar mucho ahora, okay? This is a very common question that we're going to use tonight. What are you doing? What are you doing Next summer. What are you doing next summer? Aquí le podemos quitar next summer y le ponemos tomorrow, tonight, next year, at five o'clock, etc. So, esta es la estructura que vamos a aprender hoy, ¿ok? This is the structure that we're going to learn today. What are you doing next summer? Okay, guys, now eh, we have here... Okay, look, some structures that I have here. Look, I am meeting him at the airport tomorrow at nine o'clock. I am leaving Tokyo tomorrow morning at six o'clock. If you see in this, uh, in this stuff, okay, otra vez miren la pregunta, solo que ya no dice next summer, sino que ahora dice, what are you doing on Saturday evening? Okay. ¿Qué vas a hacer el sábado en la noche? Right? What are you doing? This is, guys, for future. Okay? This is for future. So, I'm going to explain right now how to do this. Okay? How do you do this, okay, for future? This is the structure that we're going to do, okay, here. So, I want you to uh, pay attention, okay, to this part. So, the present continues, guys. Look, we have here the phrases, okay? No las vamos a perder, ahí las vamos a tener, because we are going to work on that. Okay, teacher, what is the present continuous? Well, the present continuous, guys, is one structure that we use the pronoun... Aquí vamos a usar estos am, is, are. Ok, then I need a verb. Necesito un verbo aquí. Pero ahora vamos a aprender que al verbo le tengo que agregar ing. I-N-G. Ok. The present continuous is the, uh, the structure that has the following components. Pronoun. The verb be, am, um, is, are, the verb in ing, and the complement. Okay? The complement. En ese complemento quiero que pongan las palabritas que les acabo de enseñar en rojo. Tonight. Okay? Tomorrow. Next week. This summer. Okay, eh, on Saturday or next Saturday evening or tomorrow morning, etc. Okay, so this is the structure that we have for the present continuous. So, ¿qué entonces, teacher, ¿qué es el present continuous? Es todo aquello que usted dice, okay, eh, que va a usar esa estructura, el presente continuo. Se usa para varias cosas, pero ahora lo vamos a ver para futuro, ¿ok? Eso quiere decir que si usted, yo le pregunté al principio de la, de la clase, I asked you at the beginning of the class, hey guys, tell me your future plans. 
eh, dígame sus su, su planes futuros. Si usted me dijo, ah, eh, for example here, have a baby shower online. Ok. Ahora yo quiero que me lo diga usando estructura. Yo voy a tener un baby shower en línea. El próximo, y quiero que sea specific, próximo sábado, por ejemplo. Ok. So, my friends, we have here, and we say, I, look, this is the, the first component, el pronombre, right? And then we have, I, I am, I is, or I are. Ah, teacher, I am. Okay, so, I am, y cuál es el verbo? Have, me dijo, a baby shower online. Okay, this is the structure, right? Pero acá dice la estructura que usted le va a poner. ¿Qué me le va a poner? ING. I-N-G. Exactly. Ok. So, in this case, yo ya no voy a decir, este, I am, uh, for example, I am have. No. This is what you have to do. I am, the verb en ING. Look, miren lo que voy a hacer. How. Look. I-N-G. ¿Qué hice? What did I do? Otra vez. Miren cómo puse how. ¿Qué hice? Delete I-N-G. ¿Qué hice? What did I do? Agregar. Agregar ING. Eh, ajá, le agregué ING, pero algo más pasó. Miren. Hi. Plum I-N-G. Ajá. What did I do? Quito la E. Very good. Quité la E. Esa es la primera regla. Cuando el verbo termina en E, le quito la E y le pongo ING. Ok, so have, no, this is incorrect. So you have to use like this. Delete E, ING. I am having complement a baby shower. Oh, online ok, very good pero dice también por ahí que usted necesita poner una eh, expresión de tiempo si va a hablar en futuro va a poner una expresión de tiempo de futuro if you're gonna talk about future you have to use a future time expression so, para cuando es para el próximo sábado and so you say próximo Next. Next. Ok. Next. And then you say Saturday. Saturday. Very, very good. Right? Y usted ya me está hablando en futuro. Mire. I am having a baby shower online next Saturday, teacher. Wow, great. Yes. It's my best friend's uh, baby shower. Oh, that's good. Ok. So you see. This is one, ok. ¿Qué otra me dijeron? You remember de las actividades que al principio de la clase, what, what other? Go to the barbershop. Go to the barbershop, very good. Entonces ahora yo le pregunto, ok. Eh, hey, Alonso, what are you doing next Saturday? Oh, ¿qué vas a hacer el próximo sábado? What are you doing next Saturday? So, usted dice, yo voy a ir a la peluquería. So, in English. I am. I am. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. Pone go, but then ing. I am going to the bar, eh, barber shop. Y la expresión de tiempo de futuro. Next. Next. Saturday o, o Sunday, Alonso. Sunday. Sunday, ok. Next Sunday. Sunday. Next Sunday, right? And then you have activities for the future, ok? So, what is the question? This is the question. What are you doing next? Y usted ahí le pone qué. ¿Qué vas a hacer el próximo? Ok. Dice su. Yes. One question. 
y es necesario eh, ponerle el día específico o puede ser next week. Ok. In this case, it's necessary to have the specific uh, day. Porque para hablar de decir next week, next month, necesito que, que esté bien segura del día. Esa es una clave de esta estructura, ¿ok? Que mencione y que esté seguro de lo que va a ser el próximo fin de semana, ¿ok? O, o la próxima semana. Pero en este caso, eh, for example, ¿qué va a ser la próxima semana? Creo que todos estamos seguros que vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? So, nosotros decimos, we, oops, sorry, eh, we, we am, is or are. We are. are. We are, ajá, uh -huh. work, working. working. ¿Eh? Y aquí le pongo next, next week, week, right? Uh -huh. Ok. Si usted tiene el día específico exacto, pues super nice, ok? Pero si no, pues se atreve todavía next week, tomorrow. Aquí lo que sí ya no puedo usar es next year, porque dice la regla que el presente continuo para futuro se va a usar para un futuro bien cercano y para cosas que usted está seguro que va a hacer, ok? Porque hay otro futuro que es para cosas que usted no está seguro si lo va a hacer. Pero ahorita el present continuous is for activities that you consider are, a, you know, very, a, something that you are sure that is going to happen. Okay? ¿Ok? Por esta razón, pues como todos vamos a trabajar primero Dios, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos, we are working next week. Next ¿Ok? Week. okay. Aquí... No se traduce nosotros estamos trabajando. No, se traduce nosotros vamos a trabajar. ¿Por qué en futuro, teacher? Solo por esto, miren. Next week, next Sunday, next Saturday. Eso es lo que hace que la estructura sea future. ¿Ok? That's it. Another one, for example, um, what are you doing? For example, this is a question. Remember, this is a question for the future. Teacher, ¿y qué va a ser el otro fin de semana? In English, Oscar. Ah, teacher, what are you doing next weekend? Oh, So, como él me preguntó para futuro, yo respondo con futuro. Yo le digo, oh, Oscar, next weekend I am having lunch with my family next Saturday at 1 eh, p.m. I am, eh, I am cooking for my mother, okay, next Saturday because it's her birthday. Also, también, also, oh, in the morning, I am going to the supermarket with my sister. Next Saturday in the morning, okay? So you see, I am using the structure. Estoy usando la estructura. I am using the structure, pero le voy poniendo siempre next. Next Saturday in the morning, next week, okay? Next Sunday, etc. Okay, so this is the question. Look, what are you doing? Okay, so Silvita, creo que ella es la que me dijo del Puerto de la Libertad, right, Silvita? Okay, so the question, Silvita. Eh, Ana Carolina, please, pregúntele a Silvita en inglés, ¿qué vas a hacer el próximo fin de semana? Uh, what are you doing? Uh -huh. Next weekend. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What are you doing next weekend? Excellent. And, and Silvita, answer, please. Uh, ahora le doy la respuesta yo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero en futuro, Silvita, usando esta estructura, ¿ok? Usted dijo, go to el puerto de la libertad. Uh, I am uh -huh. going. I am um, going. Excellent. Uh, a puerto de la libertad. Uh -huh. Tú. El puerto, sí, el, puerto, ajá. el puerto de la libertad, next Sunday. Sunday, very good. ¿Ve? 
That's it. Very good. Next, Luis, please ask Franklin. Okay, Franklin, what are you doing next Wednesday? Wednesday. Uh -huh. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I am working next Wednesday. Wednesday. Very good. Uh -huh. Look, ahora yo ya pongo Frank. Frank is working, eh? expression, next, okay, Wednesday, okay? That's it, okay? Look, that's it. Other example, okay? Other example that we have. Uh, my friend, Carol, Carol Ivet, please. I, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh -huh. El complemento, no, el... El del día, ¿cuándo se va a hacer? No puede ir al principio. No puede cambiar el orden de la estructura. Uh, sometimes it's possible, Luis. For example, you say, uh, next week I am working. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. sí There's no problem. Cuando uno habla, Luis, uno ya puede hacer esos cambios, right? Cuando uno escribe, usualmente va al final, ¿ok? It's at the end. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's yo it. lo preguntaba porque uno en español... Se come a veces. Exactly, Ajá, exactly. Por eso le digo, cuando uno habla es como, mm, let me see. next week, oh, I am, oh, I am visiting my mother. Pero no dije, I am visiting my mother next week, right? Okay, so when you speak, you have more alternatives, okay? Aquí no es como el frequency adverb. El frequency adverb, yes, ese tiene que ir donde va a ir. But this one, no, you can alternate the, the the, the, the time expressions, ok? No problem. Teacher, pero That's, aunque uh -huh. se cambie la estructura de la oración, uh -huh. el verbo siempre va a ir en el futuro. Always. Siempre. Esto. Okay. Esto. Siempre en ING. 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 Otro que no tiene que olvidar, por favor, es ponerle AM is are. Si yo un día le pregunto, hey, Franklin, what are you doing tomorrow? Y Franklin me dice, I drinking. Suena yo bebiendo. How? <laughs> like India, ¿verdad? Yo bebiendo. No, yo voy a beber. I am drinking, ¿ok? ¿No se puede contractar, dice? Claro que sí, pero es diferente. Ah, pero yo quiero que usted diga, I'm working. Porque ahí no se le entiende si dice, mm. I'm working. Exactly. Very good. It's different. Okay. So remember, it is contracted too. For example, pongamos, Frank We're va a trabajar. Working. So you say, Frank, ve? Sorry, aquí le pongo el apóstrofe. Frank's working. Working. Y esta S es el is, ¿ok? Is contracted. You can say we're, we're. pero que se le escuche el er, right? We're working next week. Uh -huh. I'm having a baby shower online next Saturday, ¿ok? That's it. So it's possible, Franklin. Uh -huh. That's okay, it. Thanks. Ok, very good. Let's see, uh, let's see, Douglas. Douglas, please. Ask eh, Angie. ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana? Pregúntele. Ask in English, please. Eh, Angie. Eh, oh, Angie's. Uh -huh. ¿Mm? Going to. No, no, no. Eh, usted pregúntele a Angie. ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana? Eh, Angie's, eh. Pregúntele, pregúntele a Angie. Angie tiene que responder, pero usted tiene que saber hacer la pregunta. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Ya lo, ya lo dije okay. anteriormente. ¿O no estaba en la conferencia todavía? Eh, hace unos minutos me conecté, Ticho. Ah, ya ve, por venir tarde. Ajá. Vamos a ver, Abel. Escuche a Abel y después okay. le pregunto, ¿ok? Vamos, Abel, pregúntele a Angie, please. Ask Angie, ¿qué vas a hacer mañana? Ok, Angie, what are you doing uh, tomorrow? Very good. Angie? 
I am going to the gym. Oh, she's going to the gym. Excellent. Very good. Angie, what are you doing tomorrow afternoon? I, um, I am going to the bank. Oh, she's going to the bank. Look, she is, okay, going to, over here, the, 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 to the bank, okay, tomorrow afternoon. That's it, very good. Excellent, okay. Ahora ya vio la pregunta, ya la escuchó, Douglitas. Yes, teacher. Okay, hágamele ahora la pregunta, Alonso. Please, ¿qué vas a hacer mañana en la noche? As Alonso, okay. please. Alonso, what are you doing tomorrow at night? Excellent, very good, Douglas. Mm -hmm. En Alonso. I am going to sleep. Ah, miren sleep. aquí. Miren lo que dijo él. Going sleep. ¿Cuántos verbos está usando Alonso? Dos. Mm -hmm. Dos, Dos verbos. Dos. Pero solo que me les estructura el primero. Usted, ajá, es que lo que no quiero es que ocupe going para todo. No. Vamos a usar el verbo principal. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal? ¿Going o sleep? Sleep. 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 Entonces, sleep. quítele going. Right? ¿Ve? I am. I am sleeping. Is sleeping. 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 Entonces, Alonso tiene que decir, I am sleeping. Tomorrow sleep. night. Ok. Teacher. Hey. ¿Y por qué a los demás se le pone going? Ah, porque estos sí están usando el verbo principal, ir. Ir a la barbería, ir al banco, ir al puerto. Pero mire este, este, yo tendré un baby shower, voy a tener un baby shower. El verbo principal no es go, sino que have, ¿ok? Así que si yo le pregunto a Gladys, por ejemplo, Gladys, what are you doing next? Friday at night. Voy a comer pupusas, dígame. I, I am eating. Oh, eating. Ah, very good. Uh -huh. I am eating. ¿Ve? No va a poner going to eat. No, va a decir eating porque es el verbo, es la acción principal. Is the principal action. I am eating con mis amigos, diga. With my friends. Okay, very good. I am eating, okay, with my friends, okay. Uh, next uh, Friday, remember, okay, night. Uh -huh. And then you have, a, in, this is a present continuous as future, okay. So here, I remember, okay, Aquí nosotros hicimos esta. Do you remember al, al principio de la oración? De la, eh, sorry, al principio de la clase tuvimos estos, right? That's it. Yo les dije, denme ideas para el next weekend. So, yo les hago la pregunta y todos activen el micrófono y me van a decir las oraciones en, en futuro, ¿ok? There you have the verb. So, what are you doing next weekend? What are you doing next weekend? Number one, I am. I am. I am uh, having a am lunch having, with the family. Uh -huh, very good. I am having lunch, lunch with my family or with the family. Number two, what are you doing next weekend? I, I am, am going, going to, to the, the market. market. Excellent. The market. Very good. What are you doing next Sunday? I am going, going to the barbershop. Very good. What are you doing next Sunday morning? I am going, going to the Puerto de la Libertad. Excellent. What are you doing next Saturday afternoon? 
I am, I am having, 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 a having a baby shower baby online. Shower online. Oh, Very yeah. good. What are you doing next Monday uh, at 11 a.m.? I am, I am visiting, visiting my mom in San Salvador. Very good. I am visiting my mom in El Salvador. Very good. What are you doing next Saturday, eh, Angelica, in the morning or afternoon? You do exercise. The morning. Ah, in the morning. What are you doing next Saturday in the morning? I am doing I am exercise. Doing exercise. I am. I am doing. doing. The pronunciation. Listen. Doing. doing. I'm doing, 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 I am doing, doing exercise, exercise in the morning. Uh -huh. In the morning. Very good. What are you doing next uh, Saturday at night? I am watching I am Formula watching One. Formula, Formula One. Formula one. Formula one. Formula Very one. good. Eh? I am watching, I am working, I am celebrating, I am eating, I am studying, I'm studying. I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm shopping, shopping. shopping. I'm, I'm calling. calling. Call me. That's it, okay? And this is the questions, okay? <laughs> this is with what are you doing? Y usted le pone en la expresión de tiempo, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Le voy a volver a poner aquí the time expression, please. I'm going to write the time expression once again. Ok, the time expression. Dijimos, eh, tonight, for example. Si estamos, bueno, está en la mañana, quiere decir, ¿qué vas a hacer ahora en la noche? Tonight. What are you doing tonight? Ok. Eh, tomorrow. Y aquí se nos divide, right? Tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, ok, tomorrow night, ok, ahí depende de lo que usted quiera decir. Next, y aquí lo más recomendable es poner un día a la semana, day of the week, ok. Next Monday, next Tuesday, next Thursday, next Saturday, ok, y si no pues diga next weekend, Ok, that's it. Los que sí no les recomiendo usar es next year, next month. Al mes y al año todavía es muy largo el tiempo con nuestro de presente a esto. 30 días a un año, 365 días. Y esta estructura que hemos aprendido hoy no se usa para tiempos largos, ¿ok? So this is for short, eh, for short periods, ¿ok? For short periods, when you are sure, cuando estás seguro que va a ser eso, ¿ok? Do you have questions? Listen, what are you doing next? Ok. Y la respuesta va a llevar I am and the verb in ing. Ok. That's it. La pronunciación de do con ing es doing. Doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doing. Questions. ¿Alguna duda que tengan ahorita? No. No. Okay. This is this is the other one. Okay. This is the other one that I have for you. This is in your manuals. Okay. And también en vez de decir next, pueden agregar ustedes la fecha próxima. Por ejemplo, ¿qué va a hacer el 19 de agosto? Ahora es 17, 19 futuro, right? So, you can say, what are you doing next, uh, next Wednesday? Pero si no, diga la fecha. What are you doing on, okay, August 19, if you want to, okay? So, esta es otra opción como hacer, right? That's it. So, it says here, Ok, and here, guys, we have, eh, para eso, pues, tenemos los meses del año, right? January, February, March, April, May, 
June, July, August, no August, no August, September, October, November, and December. Y como aprendimos hace hace días, los meses del año solitos se dice in. In January, in July, in August. Pero cuando ya ponen fecha, usted ya no dice in, va a decir on. Ok, that's it. So, ¿qué vas a hacer en octubre de 31? What are you doing on October 31st? ¿Y qué vas a hacer el 21, el 26? 6 de agosto. What are you doing next, right? Okay, what are you doing on August 26th, for example, in this case, right? So you can use dates, pero la estructura siempre va a ser esta, okay? Look, there is a conversation here. My friend Franklin, you are going to be Peter, okay? And Luis, you are going to be Henry, okay? Let's see. Miren, aquí están usando el present continuous for future. Go ahead. Eh, Peter, you start. Eh, frankly. Okay, teacher. Eh, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So... I see, but if Julie is attending, who is uh, del delivering mm -hmm. delivering the presentation for the CEO next weekend? Week next week. Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am. Inform the committee about it. About it, okay, very good. Look, okay. Le dice, hey, yo voy a presentar, le dice. O sea, él va a presentar en la conferencia, right? Julie is attending, ella va a ir, le dice, okay. So, ah, pues le voy a informar, ve, future. I am informing the committee, al comité. Okay, so you see, this is bird to be. The verb, okay, but with ing, okay? This is for the questions. And here, guys, we have a page number 30. We have the structure once again. Aquí lo tienen, yo se los di allá. Okay, look, there you have the structure, okay, in your manual. Subject, verb B, main verb with gerund. Teacher, ¿qué es eso de gerund? Well, es el ing que yo le puse, okay? That's it, gerund plus complement. That's it. So here we have the examples, okay, and some exercises. Number one, is Jose tomorrow receiving the new workers? This is a scramble. Completely scramble, como un huevo picado, okay? Scramble. Usted lo que tiene que hacer es unscramble the following words, right? Put the words in order. And we have, Jose is receiving the new workers eh, tomorrow. What about the number two? Let's do it together. Okay, activate your microphone then and you give me the answer, please. What is the answer? Uh huh. The next week, Mark sending the letter is. What is the answer, guys? Mark is. Mark is. Mark is sending. sending the letters next week. Next week. Oh, perfect. Okay. Mark is sending. Okay, the letter. Okay, the letter next. Okay, week. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Number three, working. Jane, tonight is on the reports. What is the answer? 
Jane is working, working, working tonight. Or is working, or is working tonight. Uh -huh. No, tonight es lo último porque es okay. la, la frase de tiempo. Ajá. On Jane, the report tonight. Jane, Jane is working uh -huh. on, the on report. the reports. Uh -huh. tonight. 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 Excellent. Uh -huh. okay. Very good. That's it. Excellent. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Una duda con la pregunta, oh, perdón, con la oración número dos. Uh -huh. Esa es la, la, la forma en la que la respondimos. Esa es la única. No se podría hablar de otra estructura. Me llama la atención porque veo de que el de Next Week empieza la primera letra, la T con mayúscula. Entonces, uh -huh. me da, interpre, interpreto que podría iniciar la oración como The Next Week, Mark is, is sending the letter. Uh -huh. Es lo que le dije a Luis hace unos minutos. Él preguntó eso, que si podíamos ah, okay. cambiar... Eh, la, la, la estructura la, la, no la estructura de la oración sino que el, el la expresión de tiempo ah, okay. sí pues la expresión fue, de tiempo Ajá. y yo le dije levanté, ah, ah ya ve. Entonces yo le dije a Luis que sí que sí se puede hacer ok aquí si usted quiere sí. diga tomorrow José is receiving the new workers o oh, José is receiving the new workers tomorrow right Ok, eh, for example, the number three puede ser tonight, Jane is working on the reports, ok. A lo que le decía Luis es que cuando uno habla es más común hacer esto. Cuando uno lo escribe, ya, un, por ejemplo, ustedes una carta o algo más formal, siempre va a ir al final. Es más común hacerlo así, ok. But that's ok. okay. Uh, for example, the number four. Hagámoslo así como, como dijo Frank. Empecemos con la frase de tiempo al principio. So we say... Today. Today. Ajá. Today. We check... No. Today is... Today is Walter. Ajá, Walter, very good. Pero sigan la misma estructura, pronombre, verbo to be, ing. Que no los vaya a destabilizar eso. Ajá, today, Walter. Walter. Is sending. Is sending, ajá, is sending. Oh, singing. The checks. The check is singing. Signing. Ah, signing. Repeat. Signing. 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 Ah, signing. The, the checks. The checks. The checks. That's it. Si usted no quiere decir esto, pues diga, Walter is singing, the, the singing, signing the checks today. Right? El orden de los factores en este today caso Walter es Walter is... el producto. Uh -huh. Today, Walter is signing the checks. Or, Walter is signing the checks. Today, that's it, ¿ok? En la plataforma creo que se los pide al final, así que, ¿verdad? Esto es solo para clarificar ahí los, 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 las dudas de estos muchachos, ¿ok? Number five, organizing marina, the presentation is in the afternoon. So, what is the correct order? Marina. Is organizing organizing the presentation Marina is organizing the presentation this afternoon. Very good. Marina is organizing the presentation this afternoon. Excellent. And the last one, guys. Guillermo, the van eh, going to tomorrow Guillermo, is. Uh -huh. Guillermo, Guillermo, Guillermo going to, uh -huh. the van to the van tomorrow. To Guillermo, Guillermo is going to the Guillermo van. Guillermo is going to the van to tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, very good. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow, right? And that's it. So this is the present 
continuous. Tenemos preguntas hasta ahorita, questions. Questions, questions, questions. No? That's fine. Okay. Listen to the question. What are you doing? This is for future. ¿Qué es lo que me va a decir que esta estructura es futura? A ley tiene que ser la palabra que le va a poner. Next week. Next eh, Sunday. Next weekend. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow in the afternoon. Ok. Eh, on August eh, 24th. I don't know. Todo lo que exprese futuro. Excepto, le dije, next year, next month. Ok. ¿Por qué? Porque ese ya es un futuro más lejano. ¿Verdad? Y esta estructura no se puede usar con futuro lejano. Solo futuro que es bien cerca a nuestro presente y con actividades que esté seguro que las va a hacer. ¿Ok? That's it. Por eso les preguntaba del weekend, right? Yo estoy segura que vamos a tener un almuerzo con mi familia y a comprar una carne. Ok, so I am having lunch with my family. Mi amigo ahí, el que tiene el baby shower, right? Ya compró el más regalo, ya lo mandó. Me so, I am having a baby shower next. Da, da, da. Alonso, ya el pelo no lo aguanta. No, dijo, ya no. Sí, sí. <laughs> I am going to the barber shop. Pero si usted no está seguro qué es lo que va a hacer, esa estructura no se usa. ¿Cuál se usa? Otra que más adelantito lo vamos a ver. Ok, yo creo que hasta allá por... Creo el módulo 4. I don't remember exactly. Módulo 4. Por ahí se mira otra estructura de future. ¿Ok? So, present continuous as future. Got it? We're going to practice now, guys. ¿Ok? And this is what you're going to ask. ¿Ok? You are going to interview, ¿ok? Your partners. So, copy in your notebook, please. Listen to me. That's it. And you are going to ask your partners. Number one, question number one. What are you doing? What are you doing next Friday? Next Friday at 2 p.m. What are you doing next Friday at 2 p.m. Question number two. What are you doing next Sunday at 5 p.m.? What are you doing next Sunday at 5 p.m.? What are you doing next Friday at 5 p.m.? And the other one is, what is? Oh, what is? Okay, what is, uh, I'm sorry, what are you doing? On August 20th. In the uh -huh, August twentieth, in the morning. Esa va con fecha. Es otra forma que le dije que pueden usar el present continuous. Okay. Right now, guys, let's practice. Y ya pay attention to your classmate. For example, this is a, what you have to do. Okay. This is an example. Okay. For example, here. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask my friends here. Eh, Douglas, are you there, Douglas? Teacher. Okay, Douglas, eh, question one. What is the question one, guys? What are you doing? What are you doing next Friday? Next Friday. At 5 p.m., right? At, at 2? At 2, 2 p.m., okay. So, Douglas, 
eso es lo que quiero que hagan. Usted entrevista a Douglas o a su compañero y tiene que escribir la respuesta, ¿ok? So, Douglas, what are you doing next Friday at 2 p.m.? Eh, I am. Uh -huh. eh, eh, walking. Ok. To my house. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. Mire, yo no puse I am working in my house. No, ahora yo lo pasé a tercera persona. ¿Ve? Douglas is working in his house. Ok. So, this is what you have to do. Ok. You have to write. Ok. You have to write and you have to, in this case, give me after the, 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 the speaking exercise, you have to give me the answers. Ok. Three simple questions. Three simple questions. Let's start working you with partners. Accept the invitation, please. Creo que nos va a tocar en tríos y algunos en parejas por la cantidad de alumnos. Ok, that's it. Accept the invitation. Let's practice, please. En el teacher, yes, en, la, tell me en, la, en la primera pregunta, uh -huh. eh, tú le respondo a él, eh, I am working, eh, pero para decir desde la casa, digo, in, in the house. You can say, I am working eh, from my house. Ah, from my house. Uh -huh. Desde casa. Uh -huh. Pero, oh, okay. pero mi oración, no, que, mi oración eh, al, al escribirlo sería uh -huh. Alonso, Alonso is working in the house. From his house. From That's his okay. house. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, Excelente. Okay. okay. From, mm -hmm. from his house. His house. Very good. His house. His house. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Uh, Franklin, what are you doing next Friday at 2 p.m.? <laughs> Me río porque la mi respuesta es tuya. <laughs> o sea, I, I work in... Pero podemos inventar what, a, what about... Yes, you can make up something. This is a practice. Franklin, for example, you are working. <laughs> oh, but what specific activity are you doing? I know uh -huh. that you are working, but typing the computer, calling uh -huh. clients, I don't know. Uh, no sé cómo se diría en, en inglés, pero más o menos a esa hora estoy haciendo un informe para la estructura de inteligencia. Ah, uh, ok. I, I am, prepare. I am, the, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm I writing, a, uh -huh, I am preparing or writing a report. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm preparing. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The report for the for la superintendencia. Uh -huh, very good. So, uh -huh, para que usen otro verbo, right? Not only working. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Continue. Continue, please. Okay. To work. Uh huh. Going uh, to work. Uh -huh. To work. Eso. Sí, a esa hora estoy regresando a trabajar. Ok. Entonces sería Douglas are going to work. To work. Is. Remember, Douglas is. Ah, 
Yes. Douglas is, go is going to work. Uh -huh. Ahora pero bien, este ahí están viernes. usando, pero ahora están usando dos verbos y ve, going and work. ¿Cuál uh, es el verbo principal? Work. Ajá. Entonces, Entonces sería, diga, Douglas is working. Working, very good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Is working. It's working. Yeah, but on Friday. On Friday. On Friday. Uh huh. On Friday. Two p.m. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay. Uh, Douglas, what are you doing next Friday at uh, five p.m.? Uh -huh. uh, next Sunday. Mm, no, next Friday. Friday at 5 p.m. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, I am uh, eating. Uh -huh. Okay. Eating. 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 Uh, potatoes. Oh, potatoes. <laughs> with ketchup. Okay. Potatoes. potatoes with ketchup. Ah, papa. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, ketchup. very good. Excellent. <laughs> Next. Uh, Douglas, what are you doing? August 20 in the morning. Uh -huh. On, on August. On August. Uh -huh. uh, Hello. Hello. Finish? <laughs> mm, una consulta. Puedo decir así, Carolina is watching Miss o más, no sé cómo. On TV on Sunday, 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Uh -huh. Se Solo puede que... usar on, on y on. Cuando dice Carolina is watching, ¿el qué está watching? Miss o oh, misa, o oh, como escuchar, a ver la misa. Ah, ah, de, de más. Más, ay, más. M-A-S-S, -S, m a -S, s más, es misa. Ah, más. Ah, vaya. Okay. Eh, Carolina is watching the mass. Uh -huh. On TV. Eh, on... Ajá, ajá. Is watching TV on TV. On Sunday. On Sunday, very good. Ajá. Y se le tiene que poner también, teacher, at 5 p.m. No. Yeah, more time. specific, for being more specific, yes, at 5 p.m. Uh -huh. At 5 p.m. Okay. Esta, esta estructura, entre más le ponga el tiempo específico, es mejor. Ok. Esa estructura para futuro. Esa es una de las características que tiene okay. tiempo, tiene fecha, very specific. Ok. Uh -huh. Excelente. Okay. Finish the questions. No, falta no. una. Ah, ok, go ahead, please. Falta una de, de que me va a hacer también. Ah, ok, ajá. Uh -huh. What are you doing in August? Oh. In, the, uh -huh. oh, in the morning. Uh -huh. vamos, oh, wow. eh, vamos a quedarnos aquí un ratito, después van a regresar porque vamos a pasar la asistencia, ok? That's okay. it. Uh -huh. That's okay. It. Then you continue, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. You will continue doing the exercise after the attendance because it's time for the for the attendance. Okay, that's it. Don't worry. Then you continue asking questions to your partners. Okay, the rest of the guys are joining. Angelica is missing. Douglas, Carol is missing. Okay, Silvita is missing. Okay, don't worry. We're going to come back. Ya vamos a regresar, ahorita vamos por la, por la asistencia, ¿ok? 
the attendance, okay? That's why we stopped. Well, we're going to start, okay, with this. Let's see. So please turn on your cameras and we start with the attendance today. Wendy, Jocelyn Cardona de Peraza. Present. Present, very good. Rosa Leticia Cerón Hernández de Lara. Present. Rebeca Noemi González Pérez. No, Rebe today. Wow. Okay. Eh, Oscar Neftali Guzmán Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Juan Abel Iraeta Hernández. What happened to Abel? Le estaba aquí, ¿verdad, Abel? Well, okay. Absent right now, pero sí estaba en clases. Creo que se desconectó. Okay. Um, Luis Alberto Carranza Ramos. Present teacher. Very good. Ana Carolina Cerna de Angulo. Present. José Alonso Tejada Esquivel. Present. Lilian Mercedes Chávez Rodas. Lily. Hey, what happened to Lily? Okay. Um, Cindy Carolina Sandoval Alberto, when well, she's absent. Angélica del Rosario Morales Castañeda. Present teacher. Alejandro Antonio Pérez Acevedo. Alejandro is not here tonight, today. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> So, con ustedes el problema no es el viernes, es el lunes, ya. <laughs> ya veo, ok. Um, my friend, Carol Olivet Rivera Alfaro. Present, teacher. Present, very good. Eh, Douglas Inocente Cantón. Present, teacher. Marta Alicia Granadillo Catacho. Martita, por aquí estaba también Martita. Well, she's not here. Eh, Claudia Elizabeth Peña Martel. Present. Ok, very good. Claudia Elizabeth Peña Martel. Eh, Oscar Ernesto Fabián Medrano. Ok, Oscar Medrano. Ok. Eh, Silvia Roxana Robles Palacios. Present. Gladys de Los Ángeles González de Majano. Present. En eh, Franklin Mauricio Hernández González. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. That's it. So, guys, we're going to finish. Creo que no han terminado, right? You haven't finished yet. Okay, let's come back and we're going to continue asking the questions to your partners. Entonces nos quedamos en que usted me iba a contestar, ¿verdad? What are you doing next? Eh, íbamos en las... En la tube. What are you doing next Sunday at 5 p.m.? Ok. Esa. Ajá, yo contestaba. Ya. No, no contesté esa. No, ah. no contestó, yo le contesté a usted. I am cooking. <laughs> I am cooking. Uh, okay. Next Sunday at 5 p.m. Okay. Next Sunday. <laughs> okay, la siguiente es, what, what are you doing August 20? Ay, creo que no la copié bien. 20, 20, 20, 24. 20. Uh -huh, 24. Ah. 24. Ah, 24. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, what are you doing August 24 in the morning? Mm -hmm. 24. ¿Qué es August, teacher? Agosto, Rosita. Agosto, ay, sí, es cierto. Antes de que se vaya, ah, no, como yo, cuando yo, si yo digo, eh, I am que voy a recibir un, un training. I am, uh -huh. ¿cómo digo? I am, I, am, I am having a training. 
I am having a train. Ahí los dos, having y training. Sí, porque no. having es el verbo y training no es verbo en este caso. Ok. Es entre... I am having training. Uh -huh. ah, okay. I am having a training. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué voy a hacer en la mañana? Um, I am... Uh, I am working in the breakfast. Um, eggs in the beans. Working. Sí. Cook. Voy a trabajar. I am no. working. Oh, no, I es am cook, cooking. Ah, cooking. Ah, okay, cooking. No, I am cooking. <laughs> <laughs> no. I am cooking in the breast pack. Uh -huh. Egg in the beans. And beans, excellent. And beans. Uh -huh. Very good. I am cooking breakfast. Uh -huh. Solo, I, is cooking it breakfast? It's breakfast. Breakfast. Pues, am, cocinar el desayuno. Yes, um, I am cooking breakfast. Only that. Only that. Okay. Next. Next. Bye. What are you doing? Oh, Hi, teacher. Oh, Hi, hello, teacher. hello. Okay, did you finish the questions? Yes. Finish. Yes. Um, Can you please, uh, Claudita, tell me the answers? Okay, Luis, answers. And then, Luis, do you tell me Claudia's answers, please? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Luis, answer. Luis is visiting. Her grandmother and Friday at 2 p.m. Okay, on, on Friday. On Friday. Okay, eh, solo corríjame her because Luis is a boy. <laughs> but his. 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 Aunque <laughs> hable de su abuela. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, porque es la abuela de un hombre. Ajá. Ah, pues sí. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you say Luis, Luis can you speak con, uh -huh, correctly? He is visiting. Uh -huh. His grandmother on Friday at 2 p.m. Excellent. Very good. Continue with the second one, please. Luis is watching soccer game in his house at mm -hmm. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Very good. Uh -huh. Luis is working on August. 20 in the morning. 20, uh -huh. excellent. In the morning, uh -huh. in excellent. The morning. Very good. Luis, please. Okay. Claudia is working in the office at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Claudia, Claudia is playing football with, with her son at 5 p.m. Okay, very good. And the last one. Claudia is having a meeting on August 20th in the morning. In the morning. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. So you see, this is how to stress future. What are you doing? Y si Luis le quiere preguntar a Claudita por su mamá, por ejemplo, por la mamá de Claudita, le dice, mire, ¿qué va a ser tu mamá en Navidad? What is your mother Cooking for Christmas. ¿Eh? ¿Qué va a cocinar tu mamá? Futuro. So, ya no pregunta what are you doing, sino what is your mother is doing. Uh -huh. So, and then the answer is she's cooking tamales. She's making hamburgers. So, I don't know. Depends. Ok. Esta, esta es la forma del futuro, teacher. Uh -huh. Es la más sencilla, por decirlo así. Eh... Quizá no sencilla porque hay otras más sencillas, más simples, fíjate. Ajá. Porque Pero yo, yo sí. tenía entendido, uh -huh. yo había escuchado que decían, I will, uh -huh. I will. Vaya, pero ese will, por eso en, en español nosotros tenemos, creo que quizás solo una forma de hablar en, pas en futuro. Uh -huh. En inglés existen alrededor de cuatro formas. 
Bueno. Y esas cuatro formas tienen sus eh, específicas características. Por ejemplo, acabas de hablar del Will. Tú y Claudita tal vez saben un poquito más de información y dicen, Will, yo he escuchado Will, sí. Uh -huh. Pero el Will, eh, Claudita en Luis, se usa para futuro lejano. Ahí sí, mira, para next year, in five years, in 2030. ¿eh? I will, vacation. I will, I will, I don't know, teach I will travel to Italy. Mm -hmm. ¿Ve? Pero cuando no estás seguro, solo lo decís por que se te vino a la mente. Salir. Este presente continuo que estamos viendo ahorita, no. Son para cosas que tú estás seguro que vas a hacer y hasta le estás poniendo fecha y hora. Ah, ok. okay? Gracias. That's the difference, ¿ok? That's ¿Hay algún going to? El going to es y casi igual al present continuous, pero la diferencia del going to es que el going to es para futuro cercano. Por ejemplo, aquí sí ya puedes decir next year, pero cuando ya has pensado en hacer algo en el futuro, pero aún así no estás tan seguro. Quiere decir que si yo voy a hablar así en porcentaje, el present continuous right now, este el que estamos viendo ahorita, es 99.9% que lo vas a hacer. El going to, el que ya ustedes más o menos ya han oído, ese como que es un 85% que está seguro. El will, 50-50. No, no, no. Ajá. That's, y así van, ¿ok? That's it. So, en inglés no hay tal de que nos engañe. Hey, vas a ir a la fiesta. Ya, yeah, I will. Ah, no, este no. <risa> Pero si le dice, hey, I am, I am going to the party at 7 p.m. Ah, ok. Ah, hasta medio hora. Entonces, sí. Pues sí, apartarle sándwiches. He's coming. Right? You see? It's different. En español, no. Hey, vas a ir. Hey, Simón, I voy a llegar. Bo. <ríe> y nunca llegó, right? Porque decimos lo mismo para todo, ¿ok? So, future is like this. So, this is present continuous. That's it. Good, guys. Very good. Excellent job. We're going to come back and we're going to check the answers, ¿ok? okay Great. Very good. Oh, we have Martita here. Hi, Martita. Si me puede escuchar, Martita, para su asistencia, por favor. Hola. Hey, hi, Martita. Marta Alicia Granadilla Latacho. Present. Ok, very good, Martita. Present. La borro de la lista negra. <laughs> ok. Carol Ivet, please tell me the answers. Ok, Carol Ivet. Okay, Tell me the sure. answers. The answers from your partner, okay? Okay. Eh, eh, trabajé con Douglas y con okay. Wendy. Okay, choose one, please. Douglas or Wendy, choose one. Okay, eh, Douglas. Douglas, okay. Okay. Eh, Le digo la pregunta solo la... No, just yes, the answer, Eve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Douglas is working on Friday 2 p.m. Okay. Eh, Douglas is eating 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 potato and ketchup eh, mm. Friday eh, 5 p.m. Okay, very good. Douglas is listening music to music to music mm -hmm. August 20 in the morning. Okay, very good. Excellent. Next, eh, Claudia Elizabeth, please. Claudita one, Claudita two, Claudita three. No, she's maybe she's drinking water. Don't worry. Angelica, okay, tell me the answers from your partner. Rosita. Rosita, okay. Rosa is a study English at 8 p.m. Can you repeat, please? Algo le faltó al verbo. Rosa is. Rosa is. Studying. Ajá, studying. 
studying mm -hmm. English at 8 p.m. Very good. Continue. Angie. Okay. Rosa is watching series next Sunday at 5 p.m. Oh, okay. Very good. She's watching series. Rosa is cooking in the breakfast eggs and beans and beans excellent very good very good gladys please tell me your answers okay carolina is studying with her son next on friday 2 p.m okay very good is studying uh -huh. studying okay mm -hmm. carolina is watching mass on TV next on Sunday at 5 p.m. Very good. She's watching the mass. The mass, guys, is la misa. Okay, at five. Uh -huh. Very good. Next. Carolina is having a meeting uh, with her student on August 20 in the morning. Excellent. She's having a meeting with her students. Great. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, Silvita, what about you? Okay. Uh, Oscar, Oscar, my partner. Uh -huh. uh, Oscar Nestali. Oscar, uh -huh. uh, I report finish with uh, at 2 p.m. Okay, can you repeat, uh, Silvita, please? Y use la estructura Oscar, que le di. Use la estructura. Oscar, Oscar is, is report. Okay, ahí se comió el verbo, porque report uh, es reporte. Va, report. Vamos a hacer el verbo escribir. Write. Ah, sería. sería Oscar is writing a report. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, Oscar writing and report finish uh, with 2 p.m. Okay, uh, is writing a report at 2 p.m. That's it. No le ponga nada más. Así. Oscar okay. is writing a report at 2 p.m. Okay, number two. Uh, Oscar having baby baby shower online with your, be, your best friend. My best um, friend. <laughs> no. Hey, mi mejor amigo, hey, ni me ha dicho que va a tener hijos. I know. His, His best friend. Huh? <laughs> okay. So, Oscar, y ahí creo que si no le escuché mal, se comió el verbo to be. Oscar is having a baby shower online. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. Next, please, uh, Silvita, the number three. Oscar is eating or, or getting, ¿cómo se dice? Eating. Eating. Come, come, ah. Oscar is eating. Is eating breakfast with your family. My family? With his family. His family, okay. Hey, very good, very good. Como se meten con mi gente, Jose Alonso, okay, your sentences. Okay, uh, my partner is Franklin. Frank, okay, Frank. <laughs> Number one, mm -hmm. Franklin is writing in the report on Friday at 2 p.m. Excellent. <clears throat> Next. Franklin is visiting his grandmother on Sunday at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Number three, Franklin is going to the gym with his brother on August 20 in the morning. Okay, great, very good, excellent, nice. Douglitas, please share your answers. Douglas, hello, Douglas one, Douglas two. Hi, teacher. Ah, okay, Douglas, uh -huh. can you tell me your answer? Uh, Carol uh, is my partner. Ah, Carol, uh-huh. Carol, 
Vamos, Carol is working. Uh, uh, next Friday. Next at Friday 2 at 2 p.m. Excellent. Number two, uh, Douglas. Uh, Carol uh, is going to home. Mm -hmm. uh, next Sunday at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay. Next, please. And Carol is preparing mm -hmm. uh, the report mm -hmm. uh, for the work. For work. Uh -huh. For work. For work. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Nice. Excellent. And the last one uh, that we have Wendy. Wendy, hello, Wendita. Mm -hmm. Este, yo estuve con, con Douglas y con Vlad. With Douglas and, okay, the same, right? Claro, the perdón. same answers. Okay, don't worry. Okay, somebody else who's missing? Alguien que tenga different answers? Uh, let me see who else. So everybody already mentioned it. Quiero ver, Caroline, ¿a quién entrevistó? Caroline. Ana Carolina. Ana Gladys. 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 Ah, okay. Tell me the answers, please. Mm -hmm. Gladys is working in her house next Friday at 2 p.m. Uh -huh. Okay. Next, please. Gladys is watching movies with her family next Sunday at 5 p.m. Excellent. Gladys is having meeting with her boss on August 20 in the morning. Okay, great. Very, very, very good. Okay, excellent. That's it. Very good. Nice, guys. Excellent. So, this is present eh, continuous or present progressive. Unos le llaman progresivo. Present continuous as future. Okay, that's it. What are you doing? What is she doing? Eh, lo importante es que me le ponga al final su estructura o su expresión de tiempo, ¿ok? The expressions, that's it. Well, my friends, here I have something for you, ¿ok? This is a, a, a challenge. Creo que va a ser un reto quizás para ustedes, right? That's it. Ese es su primer, quizás, eh, su listening, ¿ok? Aquí conmigo. Okay, this is a listening practice, okay? Eh, for this, eh, ahí pónganse bien sus audífonos o turn on the speakers, okay? You're going to listen to this part. It's very simple. It's not difficult. It's simple. Solo van a poner si es verdad o falso. So the letter T, right? True. And the letter F, if it is false, okay? The information that we have here. Number one, Peter is playing tennis with Sue on Monday. True or false? Ah, usted lo va a escuchar y va a decir, oh, it's true, it's false, etc. Peter is visiting his friends on Monday. Well, number uno is playing tennis with Sue. Una chica. But this is friends on Monday. True or false? I don't know. Peter is going to the cinema on Saturday. Yes or no? You choose. Peter is going to sleep with his grandparents. Aquí, como les dije yo, puede decirlo, Peter is sleeping with his grandparents. O sea que Peter va a dormir allá en la casa con sus abuelos. True or false? You decide. Peter is walking in the park on Sunday. And number six, Peter and his friend are going to a trip. Trip is viaje, okay? Is going to a trip are going to a trip, sorry, on Thursday and Friday. Jueves, Thursday and Friday. So guys, the only thing you have to do is to type there. Van a escribir ahí en sus cuadernos, if it is true, 
false, true and false. Algo que les tengo que decir es que no espere que las oraciones vayan en orden, ¿ok? So please pay attention, understand, and then guys, we are going to share the answers together, ¿ok? So this is a, the first listening that we have. Tienen listo ya yes, some speakers, your audios, yes. There we go. I'm going to play it, okay? True, false. True, false. Let's see. What am I doing next week? Oh, yeah. I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Quickly. <laughs> Pay attention to these ones. Play tennis y escuchen la actividad y escuchen el día, ¿ok? True or false. Teacher, ¿qué pasa si no escucho una, una frase de las que está aquí? Bueno, entonces automáticamente pues sería false, ¿ok? That's it. Once again, second time. Do it. Let's see. What am I doing next week? Oh, yeah. I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh, no. I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Third time. Let's see, what am I doing next week? Oh, yeah, I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh, no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Once again. Let's see, what am I doing next week? Oh yeah, I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Let's see, what am I doing next week? Oh yeah, I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. 
Oh no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Okay, let's check, okay, with your partners. I'm going to give you two minutes to compare. If it is true, false, true, false, then we listen again. Vamos a escuchar una vez más después y de, de ahí chequeamos todos, okay? Once again, check. Check with your partners, please, right now. Accept the invitation, okay, and let's check if you have the same answers. me lo tengo como falso. En ningún momento menciona que van a jugar tenis. Ah, va. La segunda eh, pregunta, no la recuerdo, pero para mí es false. 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 Yes. <laughs> Let me check. Ajá, uh -huh. the number two is Peter is visiting his friends on Monday. Is false. Number I two, know. false. False. And Post. number three. Peter is going to the true. cinema on Saturday. It's true. Number four. Peter is going to sleep with his grandparents. It was true. True or false? Ah, y tenemos una controversia with a lot. Okay. okay. Listen, listen, se lo voy a compartir acá. No, yo creo okay. que es falso porque dice que va a ir a visitar a su abuela en la mañana. Ajá, visit, escuché yo. Listen, listen. Check. Let's see, what am I doing next week? Oh, yeah, I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Okay, Peter is going to sleep with his grandparents. It's false. It's false. <laughs> it's completely false, right? Uh -huh. They are visiting his friends on Monday and they are having lunch, pero no dice que va a dormir, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so sí. it's the information, it doesn't, it doesn't appear. Okay, lleguen un consenso y me avisan, okay? okay? That's okay. it. Uh -huh. That's it. Discuss once again and you yeah. then tell me. Falsa. Uh -huh. Y el resto serían igual falsas. Igual falsas porque no las escuché bien. <laughs> okay, let's check once again. I'm going to play it for you, okay? Vamos, yeah. ready? Okay. Ready. Okay, there we go. Okay, sorry. Okay. Let's see. What am I doing next week? Oh, yeah, I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh, no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Okay. Escucharon algo de Park? Yes. Um, yeah, esa sí la tengo como verdadera. 
Ah, the park. Really? Sunday, <laughs> vamos a ver. Once again. Let's see. What am I doing next week? Oh, yeah. I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. And I'm meeting some friends for a short trip on Thursday and Friday. Exciting. I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh, no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Okay, well, yo no escucho park, fíjese. <laughs> no, no, right? No, 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 no park, ajá. Uh -huh. So, okay. si no está la actividad, if the activity is not there, well, automatically it's false. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. okay. the answer is there. Good. Very good. Nice. Okay, once again, okay, we are going to have once again the 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 audio and then we share guys the answers okay from the listening once again this is the last time let's see what am i doing next week oh yeah i'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on monday morning and i'm meeting some friends for a short trip on thursday and friday exciting I'm getting some tickets to see a movie and inviting Sue to go with me on Saturday. After that, we're going to have a drink and a chat. Oh no, I forgot. I'm having a dancing lesson on Tuesday because I invited Sue to a dance club. I want to impress her on Friday night. Well, 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 second thoughts. I'm going to ask Sue about changing our dancing plans to next week due to the trip with my friends. I can't see any problems with that and hope she'll be fine with it. Okay, that's it. Pobre Sue, cuando le cancelen su viaje. Okay, we check. Number one, activate your microphones, please, so you can tell me your answers. Okay, Peter is playing tennis with Sue on Monday. True or false? It's false. false. It's completely false. Excellent. Very good. Number two, Peter is visiting his friends on Monday. Sorry? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> on Monday. Monday. It's false. Okay, vamos once again. Chequemos a ver. Póngale atención solo on Monday, okay? Monday. Let's see, what am I doing next week? Oh, yeah, I'm visiting my grandparents and having lunch with them on Monday morning. I am visiting my grandparents and having lunch... Monday. On Monday? It's false. Morning. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. On Monday morning. But of friends? True or false, then? False. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> False. Very good. That's okay. it. Number three. Peter is going to the cinema on Saturday. It's true or false? True. 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 Ah, true. Excellent. It's true. Very good. Peter is going to sleep with his grandparents. False. 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 Ah, very good. Peter is walking in the park on Sunday. False. It's false. false. <laughs> Completely false. Excellent. And Peter is a, in his friend are going to a trip on Thursday and Friday. It's true. 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 True or false? True. True. 
Dice el pobre sí. Peter que va a cancelarle la, el baile a, a su Zoom porque este, es en la noche del sábado, el de, del, del Friday, y él se va con su chero. <risa> ok, that's okay. it. So, Esa es la actitud a hacer bien. Yeah, of course, being independent, Como siempre. No, tox, no toxic. <risa> Como siempre. <risa> Ok, no toxic, ok, so bien nice esa relación, ok, good, very nice, excellent, ok, very proud, very proud, this is future, ya ven, so, I am visiting, I am going, I am, eh, I am going to the cinema, I'm visiting my grandparents, I am eating with my best friend, I am dancing, I am, etc. Siempre y cuando me le pongan al final, o al principio, este, el time expression for future. Ok, there we go. Well, time for the second attendance. Ok, para la segunda okay, eh, asistencia, please. Y terminamos con unas preguntitas que me van a hacer ustedes. Ok, Wendy Jocelyn Cardona de Peraza. Present. Great. Rosa Leticia Cerón Hernández. Present. Rebeca Noemi González Pérez, absent. Oscar Neftali Guzmán Bonilla. Present. Eh, Juan Abel Iraeta Hernández. Bueno, well, él estuvo en parte de la clase, este, pero me escribió un mensaje que se sentía muy mal del dolor de la cabeza. Ok, así que por eso se retiró. Eh, Luis Alberto Carranza Ramos. Present. Ana Carolina Cerna de Angulo. Present. José Alonso Tejada Esquivel. Present. Lilian Mercedes Chávez Rodas. Absent. Cindy Carolina Sandoval Alberto. Absent. Angélica del Rosario Morales Castañeda. Present. Alejandro Antonio Pérez Acevedo. Absent. Carol e Ivette Rivera Alfaro. Present. Excelente. Douglas Inocente Cantón. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Granadillo Catacho. Very good, Martita. Claudia Elizabeth Peña Martel. Present. Oscar Ernesto Fabián Medrano. Absent. Eh, Silvia Roxana Robles Palacios. Present teacher. Gladys de Los Ángeles González de Majano. Present teacher. And Franklin Mauricio Hernández González. Ok, great. Very, very good. Now, my friends, ¿qué van a hacer después de la clase? In English, what are you doing after? Are you doing a sleep? <laughs> after this class. Bueno, no creo que todos vamos a dormir. Ajá, ok. Uno va a ir. Ok. So, this is going to watching series. Ok, um, um, ok, acuérdese, tiene going y tiene watch, use el ah, okay. principal. I, I watch in series. Excelente, ok. Ahora, seamos más específicos y dígame qué serie. Tell me what series. Uh, I am watching. Andy con E. Andy, ah, Andy. Okay. Oh, good, very good. I am watching an E. What about you, Luis? What are you doing after the class? I am... Drinking a tea. Oh, drinking a beer. Okay. A tea. A tea. <laughs> a tea. Oh. <laughs> ya, ya no, pues ya es la vejez. <laughs> Luis is drinking tea. Very good. Luis, choose other person, please. Ask other person. Alonso. Alonso. What are you doing after class? I am preparing class. Oh, okay. I am planning. Ah, I am planning. My class. classes. Oh, ah, Alonso. Well, you're a teacher. Okay, good. Alonso, please ask other person. 
Ah, we have yeah. Douglas, we have Wendy, Rose, Silvita, Ana Carolina, Claudia Elizabeth, ah. Angelica, Gladys, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Franklin. Franklin, ok. Me, me lo esperaba. <laughs> <laughs> Como la pregunta, what are you doing after? next? After class? Uh -huh. Franklin, what are you doing after class? Uh, I... After club, I checking the Twitter and Instagram. Oh, okay. You're checking your Twitter and Instagram. Okay, great. So nice. Uh, ask Franklin, other person, please. Uh, okay, uh, Gladys. <laughs> okay. Gladys, what are you doing after class? Teacher, um, una. Pregunta, arreglar, o sea, de arreglar cama, es fit. No, eh, hacer la, en inglés se dice hacer la cama, make. Ah, take, make. Ajá, make. Make. Make, ok, I am going to make the bed, no. Tiene dos verbos, going y make, usa el principal, please, use the principal ah, verb. I am, I am make the king, king, making, 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 making. The bed. The bed, okay. Oh, really? You're making the bed? You are dormir. ¿Cambié sábanas? ¿Cómo sería? Ah, you're going to change uh -huh, the, 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 the blankets. And, ah, okay. No problem, no problem. Okay, very good. Gladys, please ask other victim. Um, <laughs> Silvita, where are you? what are you doing? What okay. are you doing next class, Silvita? No, after class. After class. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to sleep. No, no, no. No se me acostumbre decir going. Acuérdese que esta estructura es diferente. Si tiene going y tiene sleep, usa el verbo principal, ¿ok? I am, I am sleeping. Excelente. I am sleeping. Very good. Okay. Silvita, please ask uh, Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia In Claudia Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you ask Ana Carolina, please. Claudia Elizabeth, what are you doing uh, next? After class? Uh, after class. I am sleeping. Oh, really? Oh, good. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Claudia, you ask Ana Carolina. Ana Carolina, you ask, uh, let me see, Angelica. What are you doing after class? I am doing my homework. Okay, very good. English or? English. <laughs> yes, okay, very good. Extra point for you. <laughs> Ana Carolina, ask Angelica, please. And Angelica, ask Oscar. What are you doing? Eh, eh, after after night uh, no uh, after, after class after, after class please. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I'm I'm checking fine. my messages ah you're checking your messages okay very good Angie as Oscar Oscar what are you doing after class I am eating a piece of pizza Oh, you're eating a piece of pizza. Very good. Oscar, ask Wendy. Wendy, what are you doing after class? Uh, I am sleeping. Okay, very good. <laughs> I am, y ya va en el proceso, se escucha. <laughs> I am sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Wendy, ask Rosita, please. And Rose, ask Douglas. Mm -hmm. Wendy. Ay, es, que vas, es que me perdí con la pregunta. Oh, what perdí. are you doing uh -huh. after class? After class. Uh, after, uh, uh -huh. What are you doing after class? Uh -huh. I am brushing teeth. Oh, great! She's brushing <laughs> her teeth. Excellent, Rosita. Okay, Rosita, ask Douglas, please. Douglas, what are, what are you doing after class? I am eating my dinner. 
Oh, you're eating your dinner at 10 p.m. Well, Oscar is eating a piece of pizza, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> nice. Okay, and Douglas, as a teacher, please. Teacher, uh, what are you doing after class? After class. Oh, I have many things to do, but I'm not sleeping. I am working more. <laughs> I am a teacher, so like Alonso, I, I am planning my classes for next week, okay? So my friends, this is how we express future using present continuous. Remember, pronoun, verb be, am, is, are, y el verbo con ing. Pero no se me acostumbre a decir going to sleep, going to work, going to, porque esa es la estructura, no la hemos visto. Hemos visto sleeping, drinking, working. Siempre tome el verbo principal y con eso usted establece el futuro. Acuérdese que esta estructura es para futuros bien cercanos. Futuro que usted está seguro que va a ser, incluye hora, incluye día específico, y incluye también fecha, ¿ok? Expresiones de tiempo para futuro, next week, tomorrow night, after class, August 24th, specific information, ¿ok? Questions, comments about the topic, no? Well, if you don't have any questions or something, los invito a que vayan después si pueden o mañana a hacer la tarea de esta clase y así pues no está el sábado, like a Salvador, typical Salvadorian, okay, at the end of the week, okay. So my friend, thank you very much for joining my class tonight. Have a beautiful, beautiful night and enjoy your meal, los que van a cenar, vea. Feliz provecho, enjoy your meal, bon appetit. Goodbye, guys. Good night. Goodbye. 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 Good